how do you come up with ideas for you? I have the hardest time. I have a closet full of stuff that's even, mm-hmm. I can't sell because they're either broken or they're missing pieces and they're all super cool. They have like cool artwork on them and I want to use them, but I can't think of what to do with them, let alone go, well, I could cut this. No, I can't cut that. Like I, I literally can't yeah. touch them. How do you come up with these ideas and how do you, uh, how do you use the stuff that you find? Well, Right now, it's easier. My brother is a historian, so every time I, I have an idea of how to and use the material, he's like, "No, don't not. Don't. <laughs> this is so and so. Okay, it was so made far everybody's so-and-so. on my side. All right, okay. <laughs> but I usually uh, have in mind some some scraps of paper or some interesting parts that I think they might be symbolic in a way. So I, I usually start with the backgrounds and I kind of choose some of like important piece, important mixes that might create some, some met, met, metaphor in a way, mm-hmm. or some symbolism. Um, and then other pieces I just keep on adding and that kind of goes with the with the flow. It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle in a way. Okay. I know the edges, but I don't know how. I like some some of the middle parts are. It's gonna take some some time, and that that's go that goes with the flow. It's not like I choose all all the pieces that I'm going to collage at at, at first. I know some some artists do. Okay. Uh, that has never worked with me. You mean you you kind of do it as you go along, and it just I do kinda... it yes. Really? Oh, that's so frustrating. You're just one of those people that just naturally knows how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the hard part is to know when to stop. Uh huh. Because that's kind of, kind of the trick. And kind of at some, point, at some point when I'm working, I need to like take a break and then revisit it the next day and then decide if it if it needs more i mean i'm kind of a maximalism mm-hmm. i maximalist in a way so i i need to like take a moment and then come back to the to the piece that makes sense do you work on several yeah. pieces at a time or do you focus on just one i usually focus on one it depends on if i have a date that I need to complete a cer- certain amount of pieces. That usually helps. It helps a lot of artists when you have, like, you need to finish a certain amount of pieces for this date. So that makes you, I guess, pr- I mean, it, it, for me, it helps. Otherwise, I'll stay in a piece for a long time. What was the, like, what's the date that you have set? Are you saying that you have a showing and you're literally making new pieces for it? Right now, I, I'm not, okay. which is why I'm, like, taking more time. Then I take more time with the piece. But you have done that. You've actually... Yes. Really? I don't know if I've ever... I mean, I guess I've never thought to ask that if people uh, prepare pieces specifically for a show. Huh. Yes, a lot of people do. Okay. Yeah. I guess and, that's and, never and occurred to me. Of, I don't know why. A lot of people work better under pressure. Okay. And I'm, I'm one of them. <laughs> Otherwise... I will, which is necessary as well, but otherwise I'll just stay on a piece for more time. 